Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing a basic knots tutorial. So I'll go through all the basic knots that you will need to make bracelets like these or these, you know, just all the basic knots. So let's begin. So first off, what I'm going to do is show you how to make a forward knot, a backward knot, a forward backward knot, a backward forward knot. And I know that's a lot, but those are four different knots that you would need to make one friendship bracelet. So I will show you first how to make a forward knot. You separate your two strings that you will be tying the knots with. and what a forward knot does, it, it takes the string on the left and brings it to the right. So let me show you. You would do a four shape like this, and you would lift the string up that you have underneath that first four shape, and with well, the first string, and then bring the string on the left under that little loop. And now you have like a little loop here, and you can pull up but you're not done with that first knot. That's the first half of the knot, but trust me, it's the same thing. It's just the four shape you lift. Oh my gosh, my tripod's falling down. No, let me fix this. Okay, the four shape, then you lift your string up and pull this other string under the string on the left. And now, the string on the left was now on the right. And let me show you how I make that in like a fast way. So I have my so I have my pointer finger that pushes the string on the left under, and then I hold the string on the right with my thumb and push this up with my other thumb and pull it up. I don't know really how to explain that, but it's a little confusing that demonstration was, but hopefully you could see what I was doing. Now I'm going to show you how to make a backward knot. It's the exact same thing, just backwards. So backwards four, lift up. Well, also you're taking your string on the right and bringing it to the left. So reversed completely. You make a four shape with the string on the right, lift up the string on the left, and pull the string on the right through. Now you have a loop. I'm gonna pull it up. And now, remember the exact same thing. Take the string on the right, make a backwards four shape, lift the string on the left, and pull the string on the right through. Now tighten and look. Now the string that was on the right is on the left and the string that was on the left is now on the right. Now I will show you how I do the backward knot fast, I guess. So I, what I do is I take my, my right hand, twist it around, take my pointer finger, and my thumb on my left, and bring it over the left string, then pull this through. And then I tighten, so if you're wondering. Now I will show you how to make a forward backward knot. So you wanna take this, actually what it does is it takes you tying the knot with the string on the left, but it keeps it in the same place. So you take the string on the left, make the four shape, lift the string on the right and bring the string on the left through. That's the first half of the knot. Now you take the string on the right, which should be the string you're tying the knot with and make a backwards four shape. Lift the string on the left up and pull the string on the right through the hole and tighten and there you go. The string that was on the left that we tied the knot with is in the exact same sp spot. So that's how you make that knot. 
Now you want to, I'm going to show you how to make a backward forward knot. Same thing, just reversed. Do a backwards four with the string on the right, lift the string on the left up and pull it through. Now you have the strings reversed on opposite sides. Now you want to take the string that's on the left, bring it over the string on the right, make a four shape, lift the string on the right up, pull the string on the left through the hole. Backward forward knot. That's how you make it. That's the four basic knots of friendship bracelets. Now I will go on to doing a slip knot. So let's do that. So as you can see here, I have a wooden dowel. I'm going to be making a wall hanging and I have my string. Can you see that? Yeah, my string. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the two ends. I call this a slip knot, but I hear a lot of people say lark's head knot. I don't know, I learned that's a slip knot. So I put those two ends together and now I have a little loop at the top. So. I'm going to take my wooden dowel or whatever I'm tying this to, and I'm going to actually go to the opposite side, oopsies, and I'm going to put the loop on there, make it a bit bigger, stick my, stick my pointer finger, middle finger, and thumb through, and grab the string that was sticking out underneath, pull it through, and tighten. And you can do this on keychains too, key rings, and then make a keychain. I'm going to make a wall hanging. So there I have it attached. So that's how you do lark's head knot, slip knot, whatever you wanna call it. My tripod's falling down again, that's fun. And now I will show you another knot. So this knot, let me grab a bracelet for example. It's gonna be like a big knot at the end, you know? So, how to do this, you have two strings or more, however many, and you wanna fold it in half. And then you're gonna take this and wrap it around your pointer finger Pull the end through the hole there and tighten. That's it. I don't know what this knot is called. If you know, put it in the comments, please. But that's how you make it. So. Now, this, I don't know. Now let's go on to how to make a square knot. Square knot. Here is how to make a square knot. So you want to take whichever. So ugh, you would have strings in between these two strings and you would bring one over to make a four shape. Then you would take the other one and put it over that one. Lift all your strings up and put it through. And now I should probably tighten, but um, wait one second. There. And now you want to tighten. So, do the exact same thing with the other side. Nope, that's the same side. Make a four shape. Well, then bring the other string over. Lift all your strings up and pull it through. And tighten. Exact same thing. Bring your string over to make a four shape. Well, the other one was backwards for it, but then lift all your strings up and pull the string through. Backwards four shape. Put one string over, lift all the strings up and pull it through. Then tighten. Yeah, it's the same thing over and over. But yeah, I hope that you found 
this video helpful. I don't really know what else to say. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.